Alright, welcome to this video course on how to make a full-time living with email marketing. And let me tell you, uh, email marketing is one of the best business models I know of. It's, it's almost like an ATM machine. Um, whenever you need money, uh, you just email your list. Alright, and uh, of course, you know, you don't really need to use email marketing as your main business model. You could just use it on the side, for example, if you provide services to offline clients um, or maybe you're just a product creator um, you know email marketing can be just used as an additional income stream uh, to add to your business so but anyways uh, in this video course I'm gonna go through how to make a full-time living with email marketing so I look forward to seeing you in the next few videos now what you hear a lot of marketers saying is that the money is in the list and that is true but um, it's not that easy to just make money from your list of course you could do it for the list for the first little while promote affiliate products to your list and make some money but eventually your list may burn out uh, which is what happens to a lot of marketers um, so it's very important to nurture your list so that you could profit from your list in the long run alright so when people opt into your list um, you know you have a squeeze page I'm sure you, you should know that by now if you're familiar with email marketing is when you build a list you have a squeeze page um, of course there, there are other ways to build a list uh, without a squeeze page but I'm not going to get into that right now um, this video I want to talk about building a relationship with your list so it's important to have uh, autoresponder follow-ups in place uh, and basically what you do is if you have GetResponse or Aweber or any other list management email marketing softwares is that you would set up an autoresponder where you have these automated uh, emails sent to your subscribers when they opt in so the, the first email could be a thank you uh, for subscribing here's here's a link to your free gift um, the second email could be a content email providing some good tips um, if you do not have any good advice or you're not good at writing you could always get uh, PLR products uh, PLR articles or PLR books and just copying some helpful content or valuable content from those sources okay so generally you'd want to have anywhere between one and seven follow-ups okay and somewhere if you have seven or ten follow-up emails um, you know in between those you could put in some promotional emails as well okay but it's very important that you're building um, a relationship with your list and that you're letting them know that hey you're not here just to sell them something that you're also here to help them uh, with whatever it is um, they signed up for okay uh, another helpful thing to do when you're building a relationship with your list is to write blog posts every once in a while so the subscribers know the value of being on your list and what I do is I, I include links to my blog posts in the signature of my emails so even when I'm promoting something well hey look you know you're gonna see at the bottom of my email below my signature there's links to some valuable blog posts so it's like look hey you know I'm selling something to you but hey you don't have to buy something from me today you could check out some of my blog posts if you want if you want to learn more all right okay so I, I hope I've, I've covered everything in this video on how to build a relationship with your list again you know you want to get the message out there that you're not here to just sell something to your list okay you need uh, to build a relationship with them and know that you're here to to help them if you want to make a full-time living with email marketing I suggest that you email your list twice every day all right some people may say well you know just email once a day or once every few days uh, just keep in mind that if you you know if you don't email your list that much they may uh, forget about you so you have to find the right balance here but uh, the rule of thumb is you know you should email your list twice a day yes you know you're gonna get around five or eight people that are un that will unsub unsubscribe from your list but you'll make anywhere from fifty to a few hundred dollars each day uh, depending on 
the size of your list and also on the quality of your emails okay so I actually have um, a calendar in which I write down the products that I plan to promote on certain dates so you know I already know uh, what products I'm gonna promote uh, a couple weeks in advance and of course you know I, keep, I do keep it flexible uh, there are days where I have my options I have a backup plan so on a certain day there might be three different product launches um, and you know I'll I'll just keep it flexible and just see how I feel and on that day okay look I have these three options what did I email my list about the previous day is this certain product launch or this affiliate offer too similar to the one that promoted or is it does it complement so I do try to keep it flexible I also have um, my options you know I, instead of promoting the affiliate product on one day I might just send a blog post but I try to email my list um, every day and if I have time twice a day okay I have kids and so <laughs> I, I don't have as much time as I used to to email my list twice a day okay and um, if, if I can't find anything to promote on a particular day I'll send a follow-up email for a product that I promoted a few a few days ago or even a few weeks prior okay and I even have a list of products that I'm gonna promote if I can't find anything to promote on a particular day uh, for example it could be a high ticket affiliate product that I promoted over a year ago and that'll be in the list of products that I could promote on a day where I just can't find anything good uh, to promote to my list okay or another thing I might promote um, to my list if I can't find anything to promote on that day is uh, one of my own products okay so make sure that you email your list twice a day um, and you know the second email for that day could just be a follow-up to the first email that you sent on that day you could just send the exact same email but just type in um, you know regarding the last email or for example you could type in the word RE right right before the the subject line as so they know that it's just a follow-up for uh, the prior email okay uh, another tip uh, I want to give here is you know don't be predictable meaning that you know you don't want your list to know that you're going to email um, a certain type of offer every day or it's, it's going to be on the same time every day you got to mix it up um, so for example you know my list is targeted towards people in the private label rights niche all right people that want done for you systems but I don't want people to know that hey I'm just emailing you guys done for you systems every day I want to provide some helpful tips I want to promote products um, that also provide helpful tips and maybe software products every once in a while okay so hopefully uh, this video helps you um, and I'll see you in the next video okay so when it comes to emailing your list every day there are two schools of thought uh, some marketers will tell you to promote different products every day and other marketers will tell you to promote just one product for a few days at a time both these strategies have their advantages and disadvantages okay and I guess it all depends on your style of marketing um, what your subscribers expect of you but as for me I am somewhere in between I like to mix it up I do not like to keep to just one strategy as I mentioned in the previous video I try not to be predictable to my list okay so you have to find the right balance here I'll leave it up to you um, I don't know what your list what your business is like I'll leave it up to you um, but let's just go through the advantages and disadvantages for both schools of thought okay if you promote different products every day well that's great there are people on your list that want a variety of products um, content to learn from and they may be looking forward every day to different products you know to find the right needs uh, and wants to the business maybe they'd want the hottest the flavor of the day okay on the downside you may burn out your list um, and you know some people may get information overload uh, you're just promoting too many different things every day things that contradict each other for example on Monday you promote an SEO course on Tuesday you promote another traffic related course 
um, that says, look, SEO is not good, it's too slow, you need fast traffic methods. So it may contradict uh, the product that you just promoted the day before. So again, you know, it all comes down to just common sense, finding the right balance, finding what you, your customers need, and, and um, just finding what's right for your list, keeping your message consistent. Okay. Um, now, if you promote one product for a few days at a time, well, that's great also because, as, as you may, may or may not be aware of, it does take uh, people an average of seven times to be exposed to an advertisement before they decide to buy something. And that's a general rule of thumb that you learn in the offline marketing world and in, in the online marketing world. So the same goes with email marketing. You know, if someone sees an email about a product, they may not buy it that first time. Sometimes you have to send them a few emails um, to educate them about that product and explain to them why they need that product uh, before they go ahead and invest their time and money uh, into buying that product. Okay. On the downside, um, you know, the disadvantage of promoting just one product for a few days at a time is that you may turn off some people. You know, like you're, you know, for example, I may promote something to my list for a few days. Let's say it's on, let's just say it's on SEO. All right. And let's say you don't like SEO, and you might be thinking, why is this guy spending so much time um, promoting this thing? this SEO course down my throat. I do not like it. I'm going to unsubscribe from his list. Okay, so that's a downside. You may, you, may, you may be spending too much time promoting a particular product that some subscribers may not want. All right, so now let's talk about the content of your promotional emails. Uh, generally, you know, you want to stand out from the crowd. There are hundreds of affiliate marketers out there, if not thousands. And when there is a product launch, you know, sometimes there can be dozens or hundreds of affiliates promoting that same product during the same time. And a lot of them are going to be using the same generic swipe emails that are provided to them by the product creator. So you have to stand out from the crowd. And you also want your subscribers to know that, hey, look, you know, you're not just some marketers. You're not just some marketer that is emailing messages that he just copies and pastes you know you have to write your emails from the heart you know you want your subscribers to know like hey look this guy has a personality you know he's got a nice message I like and I'm gonna look forward to his emails every day because he's got something nice to say every day he's not just sending the generic um, email marketing message that you see every day in your inbox so that's the first thing I want to mention to you is that you should write from your heart. Now there are times where, you know, I have to copy and paste, and this is where, you know, if you want to include the benefits or the features of that product in your email, you may have to um, copy that from the swipe emails or from the sales page. Okay, for example, if you're promoting a software product, um, you know, you could tell your list why you love it and what, what it could do for the business, but when it comes to listing the t technical features of that, you know, you could just go ahead and just copy that. That's fine. They could see that. That's fine. As long as the majority of your email is, comes from your heart, that's what I, I recommend to you. Okay. Uh, another tip here is if you offer bonuses, uh, which I do from time to time for high paying affiliate products, you know, if you, if you offer bonuses, you have an angle to work from, an angle to to talk about the product from. So if you do not have anything nice to say about that product, you could just speak about the bonuses and then talk about um, the main offer. Now it goes without saying that if you're going to email your list every single day, you are going to have unsubscribes every day. People are going to unsubscribe from your list every day. That's just the way it is. Okay, no matter how much credibility you have or how much you're loved, you're always going to have people that unsubscribe every day from your list, every time you email your list. Okay, so it's important that you have new blood coming into your list on a daily, on a daily basis. You need fresh leads. Okay, so in this video, I just want to go through a few of the methods I use to get fresh leads. Okay, you could post free or cheap WSOs. WSO stands for Warrior Special Offer, uh, which are special deals you can post on the Wire form. 
Now the wire form, they are always changing the rules, so when you're watching this video, free uh, WSOs may no longer be allowed. Um, so to get around that, you could, you know, just sell cheap WSOs. For example, sell them for a dollar just to get um, leads. And the advantage of selling something is when you get buyers into your list, you know, as a rule of thumb, uh, buyers are worth ten, t at least ten times. I've, I've even heard twenty times but um, they're worth at least 10 times more than a freebie seeker, okay? Because they are very responsive and they've proven to you that, hey, look, they are willing to get out their credit card to buy something from you. So buyers are very uh, important to have on your list, okay? You could have a mix of buyers and freebie seekers. Okay, another method that I use is I buy solo ads. Um, it's where you purchase from another person, another marketer that has an email list, you would purchase um, basically a service from them where they would email their list uh, about your offer and you could provide them a swipe as well. And there, you could just Google that to find, you could Google solo ads, solo ad sellers to find solo ad networks. So one of the ones I use, I believe, is Udemy. Uh, you, you spelled U-D-I-M-I, -I, I believe. Okay. Um, there's also safe swaps that you can use to build your list. It's where similar to solo ad, but in this case, um, this is a free uh, traffic method. You're not buying anything or paying anybody anything. You are just agreeing with someone to to email the offer, and in exchange, they'll email your offer to their list. And there's a there's plenty of networks out there to find safe swap partners. You could go in the Warrior Forum. Um, you could also go in the Warrior Forum to buy solo ad vendors. By the way. Um, but you could just do a Google search for safe swaps. Uh, the, ne the network I use, I believe, is safeswaps.com. Um, safe and then a dash and then swaps.com, I believe. You could just look that up. Um, you could also uh, create your own products and launch them onto JVZoo, ClickBank, Warrior Plus, and any other affiliate networks out there. Because, like I said, that, you know, it's important to get buyers onto your list. Buyers are worth 10 to 20 times more than freebie seekers. Okay, another method that I use from time to time is Facebook ads. Um, there's plenty of Facebook ad, ad courses out there and you know so I recommend you check them out. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about Facebook ads in this course or in this video because I'll admit I am not an expert on Facebook ads I do use it from time to time and I have had success with it but I still need more experience on it before I speak more about Facebook ads um, now JV giveaway events that is another free traffic method that I use from time to time I use it a lot in the beginning um, but I, and I still use that from time to time a JV giveaway event you could just do a Google search to find them um, but JV giveaway events are basically where a group of marketers team up to offer free gifts and and to do your part you would have to email your list about these free gifts so they would all go to a landing page and then they could opt in for their free gifts so basically everyone is contributing here to drive traffic to these gifts and so basically that's that's a JV giveaway event Okay, so uh, I hopefully you have enjoyed this course on how to make a living with email marketing.